this is a very volatile start that we've seen to the new year. So Neil Munjal, the chairman of um, Hero Corporate Services, joins us now and veteran of the auto industry. Mr. Munjal, good morning. Uh, happy New Year to you and thank you so much for joining in. It's been three months now or uh, you know, almost three months since the uh, demonetization. Uh, what's the sense you're getting about the damage that we've seen so far, both for the uh, economy as a whole as well as for the auto industry? Well, it's clear at the consumer end, <clears throat> the demand for most consumer goods did suffer. Uh, it was actually at, at two different levels. One was at the front end of the consumers. Uh, a lot of people deferred their purchasing de decisions. So it impacted, I think, industry across the board. Uh, second was, in this kind of environment, lots of businesses, especially small businesses, which had cash as a part of the working capital cycle, have suffered quite severely, whether it's small textile units, small hosiery units, uh, parts for bicycles, automotives, sewing machines, fans. There's a whole host of industry uh, which had cash as a regular part of the working capital cycle. It was not that they were taking money out, but they were using it as, as a regular part of the business. So at the two ends, the economy certainly has suffered. Uh, interestingly, the government has shown higher revenue numbers uh, in November both on direct and indirect taxes, and they believe December 2 will be higher. So clearly, at some place, some parts of the economy have uh, worked, but on the consumer front end, it has suffered. Well, Mr. Munjal, good morning, and thank you very much for joining us on the first day of the year. Have a great year yourself. Uh, but, uh, sir, you know... Thank you, too. Your uh, uh, experience spans across uh, bicycles, uh, motorcycles. I mean, you know the ancillary and the SME, MSME sector as perhaps no one knows. Uh, what is your sense? Will we see joblessness and therefore uh, a larger part of consumption getting derailed both at the lower end and at the higher end uh, because of the fear of the law, rightly so? Or do you think that the smaller units will largely come back on rail after uh, a brief catch crunch? Uh, certainly, th I think the economy will come back. But the only question is, how long does it take to come back? And, and I'm talking about both ends now, mm. both at the top end and at the lower end. Mm. Uh, it is certain that the economy will come back. So first issue, I think, that gets, needs to get resolved is liquidity coming back into the system, because that is a day-to-day -day hassle for people and, of course, for businesses, especially small businesses. And I would imagine that could take another two to three months for liquidity to be completely back in the system. Mm. The industry and economy, however, I think will take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I would imagine anywhere from nine months to maybe even 12 to 18 months. Uh, but okay. I do believe we will start to see a recovery in the coming months itself. So what do you think the government could do to uh, sort of end the demonetization pain? I'm, I'm trying to understand what the expectation is from the budget this time, according to you. A lot of people are talking about uh, the budget being pro-tax reforms, etc. But from an industry standpoint, what are you looking at? So one, the Prime Minister already in his New Year address mm -hmm. uh, announced a whole host of initiatives which one would have expected actually in the budget. In some sense, he took away the thunder from the finance minister. But interestingly, he may have set a new trend. I was just thinking about this. It may set a trend in the future for leaders to make newer announcements of significant policy initiatives, especially those which directly impact people uh, in all parts of the, of the system. And that's what he did. Uh, he talk, talked of the elderly. He talked of the uh, small industry. He talked to the farmers. So I, I think it was a, it was a good set of uh, initiatives that he announced. On the budget, you're right, the expectations are that the big significant part of this will focus on taxation. Uh, there is a global race going on right now, both to attract investments, to retain investments, and to improve people's surpluses by lowering tax rates. Now, many countries, both in the highly developed uh, of the de developed na nations, as also the emerging markets, are now looking at sub-20% uh, tax rates. Some are racing towards 12 to 15, some are at 15 to 18. There are many which are looking at between 18 and 25. So India's announcements of moving to 25, I think, will need to be accelerated. Uh, and also, uh, this was an announcement made only for corporate taxes. 
I think we also need to look at personal taxation, both of them, because we do seem to have a scope right now to widen the tax base, uh, both due to the income declarations and the demonetization. We will see a much uh, wider tax base, and this should certainly allow us to lower the tax rates uh, themselves. Uh, well, uh, what if it was only personal tax and not corporate tax? Uh, would you consider that uh, uh, an extremely difficult budget? I, I mean, I'm only telling you because that's what sources told us. So I think corporate uh, tax rates for sure need to come down at this moment. And it is, it is also an expectation that they will not just be brought down as is. Some of the exemptions will go away uh, because the plan finally is to take away all exemptions or a majority of them and bring the tax rate to 25. All I'm saying is 25 in that case will not be good enough because the current tax collection is around 21%. So if you take away exemptions and bring it down to 25, you will actually be raising tax rates, not lowering them. So that's one thing we need to be conscious of, that if you're going to take some of the exemptions away, the tax rates need to be lower than 25 for sure. Uh, I, I, think, I think the government is conscious of this. Uh, uh, I've not heard what you have heard. Uh, I believe the government will focus on both ends, uh, corporate and uh, personal taxes, but also they will do more for job creation because that has to be one of India's drivers now. So more for startups, more for uh, incentivization for job creations, more on skills, uh, more on retraining. These are the areas which will certainly need attention as you try and expand things like healthcare and education. I think the, the budget, again, will need to address <clears throat> some of the very basic needs as also dramatically step up uh, infrastructure and large government project spending. Okay. Sir, before we because let from you the go... private sector... Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. No, but lest we run out because of time, I, I, I just want to... the private sector is not going to... Okay. I just wanted to squeeze in one last question because I think we're running out of time. Uh, you know, since you're a veteran of the two-wheeler industry, I wanted to ask you how long do you think the pain could last here? Because once again, for the month of December, we've seen about a 15 to 20 percent fall across the industry. Uh, do you think we'll still have to wait a couple of more months before any revival kicks in? I think until the liquidity comes in fully, people are not taking decisions, especially on second-hand bikes, and that drives a lot of the uh, new bike sales. Uh, so I would imagine it is still a few months away before this pain entirely goes away. But these are deferred uh, decisions, these are not cancelled decisions. So it has to come back, the cycle will come back and hopefully come back better than it was uh, when it started going down. All right, uh, Mr. Munjal, it was very nice of you to drop in on the first day of the year. Thank you very much, sir, and for your observations on the economy as well.